Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install this update that is KB5065789 on your Windows 11 computer because of this error code that is 0x807003. So if you are receiving this error, the first step is to run these scan. So commands are provided in the video description. So type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app and then make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator and then click on yes to allow paste the first command over here hit the enter key now this will run a scan the scan will take some time and once the scan is 100% complete run the second scan so let this be 100% complete once this is done you can copy the second command paste it on the same window and once the second scan is 100% complete restart your computer and then check still not working the next step is to pause and restart the update so you can go to windows update if you see retry option, you can click on retry, click on retry and then if that does not work, click on pause. You can pause the update and then you can once paused, now click on resume updates and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to start these services. So type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find app readiness in the services. So here you can see app readiness, make a double click on app readiness, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. With this selected, make a right click and then click on restart. Now find Windows update, scroll down here you can see Windows update, make a double click on Windows update again set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. With this selected, make a right click and then click on restart. Now find background intelligent transfer service, make a double click, set this to automatic apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now with this selected make a right click and then click on restart and once done now you can try to update to windows 11 and then you can check still not working the next step is to use microsoft update catalog you can open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website uh, write down the name of the update that is kb five zero six eight five seven eight nine and then click on search now on this page uh, first of all uh, please ignore the language so type in w i n v e r in window search box and then click on winver run command and then here you can see my version is version 24 h2 and you can check what kind of system you have you can go to system and then you can go to about option and over here in my case it's 64 bit operating system so for me it's windows 11 version 24 h2 x64 based system if you have windows 11 version 25 h2 x64 then this is the right one for you for me this is the right one so click on download and then on this screen uh, click on this kb5065789 click on it and then once the download is complete you can run this exe file so click on it and then follow the on-screen instruction to install it once done you have to restart your computer and then you can check still not working the next step is to use fix problems using windows update open windows settings go to windows update and then go to advanced option over here and then go to recovery option and over here you can see an option which says fix problems using windows update this will reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved so click on reinstall now this process will take some time and once this is done now you can check still not working the last step is to use media creation tool now for this you can go to this website on this website scroll down here you can see media creation tool click on download now and then once the download is complete you can run this exe file when you run this exe file you will see the screen click on accept over here and then by default windows 11 will be selected click on next and then select iso file over here and then click on next over here you can save it to desktop save and then let the download complete this process will take some time and once done click on finish once you hit finish let this close automatically do not close this manually it will take few seconds to close now you can go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file and then make a double click on setup file run the setup file click on yes to allow and then click on next over here accept and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then hit install 
after the installation log into the computer and then you can check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install uh, this windows update successfully on your windows 11 computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel